Hello everybody, uh, doing another test run on the Kenny Hack. Uh, this time I'm going to be seeing how dilute I can make the mixture and still get good results. On the original video, I was running 50% uh, dilution. Uh, made up a couple more batches. Uh, just diluted it down. Going to try uh, no treatment. 12%, 25 and my original 50%. Kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, just seeing how thin I can get it so we can stretch out uh, this product and you can put it on thinner layers so it doesn't stain the wood so dark. Hopefully we'll see if it uh, still produces good results uh, across the dilutions and we'll see how it goes. And you see this run is going to be at 5,400 millimeters per minute, 70% power. A 0 0.15 line resolution and this is on my Ortur Master 2 20 watt system. So just like in the original video here's a grayscale I'm going to be burning across the different areas. Here you can see 5400 millimeters per minute 70% power. Oops, that's a 0 0.1 right now. Let's go ahead and make that 0.15 and let's see what it does. Got to figure out what's wrong with my machine. For some reason, the first millimeter, it kind of stutters like that, and then it gets going smooth. Um, as you can see on the untreated wood, it's just burning a little bit at the very dark end of the spectrum. Really, at this speed, I'd say you couldn't do a silhouette burn. It'd be kind of probably a little rough looking. Definitely couldn't do photo quality. Let's go try the next section. So 12%, I'd say you're getting a gradation, well, probably about at least two thirds, three quarters of the way down before it kind of completely disappears. It's definitely workable. Uh, could definitely bump up the power a little bit. Take it to maybe 80% or 85 and still get a good burn at that level. Um, so if that's the weakest solution, I imagine the next two zones are going to be even better, but let's get a side-by-side -side comparison. We're in the 25% area. Yeah, maybe getting just a little more length of your transition of gradient. Uh, slightly better. Once again, could definitely add a little more power to the laser and definitely get a darker burn in. I'd say that actually probably is about just right for doing picture quality. And that's about the 25% uh, dilution. So let's go to the 50 that I had in the previous video.
So you're almost getting <clears throat> some burn in about the full length of the burn. It's maybe kind of disappearing about the last quarter inch. So that also is a probably a very good setting for photo quality right there. It would probably uh, still leave the white areas blank. So let's stop the burn. Here's what we got. No treatment. Kind of was burning out on the wood. In the first areas, you can kind of see it uh, leaving little flame patterns, but not a very consistent image. Here's the 12%, probably getting two-thirds of the gradient, um, maybe about another 5-10% power, and it would be 90% gradient. Here is the 25%, I'd say it's probably about three-quarters of the gradient, um, probably just about good setting for photo quality. Here's the 50% and it's probably pushing about 85% to the gradient. See it's just a little bit longer than what it was on the 25. Um, but once again that's probably a pretty use, uh, usable speed and power setting. But you can see how much darker the wood stains across each one so it kind of be what how dark do you want to take your wood but across any of them we have pretty good burn in for that highest speed and definitely any of them would be usable so as i said in the previous video that uh, metal can i was storing the solution in gets pretty corroded uh, so I decided to kind of switch it over to these little children's drinking cups that have measurements on it. So it's easy to make dilutions. Um, this is my 50%, which was originally in the can. Made this on a one-to-one -one dilution with the 50 to get 25. Made a four-to-one dilution with the 50 to get a 12 and a half. You can see there's still some rust flakes floating around in there. Uh, all the steel wool pad had been dissolved. Got a new batch cooking up in the other the metal can. I can just use that one to make up a 100% strength and use these bottles to dilute them in. These are pretty handy. You can flip open the lid, get a little paintbrush, dunk it in there, paint on a really thin one coat layer. Which is kind of what I did with all these. I dunked the brush twice and painted uh, two brush dippings across the whole area to try to get them the same amount on each section. And I think the results are pretty good. I wouldn't be scared of using a 12%. Uh, definitely think uh, with the speed and the power we had set that uh, could definitely get photo quality work out of just a 12% dilution. So you could really stretch this material a long way if you're only looking to try to get the laser uh, benefits from it. If you're trying to get the stain benefit, you could leave it at 50%, put on some more coats to get it a, as dark a brown as you want. As I said, some woods, this stain will turn gray. It ages it. You'll just have to uh, test it out on whatever wood you're working and see how the stain reacts to that particular wood. You'll never know until you try it. So, all right, uh, like and subscribe, share. Um, hope everybody finds this useful. Thank you.